everyone, good morning, Ron Ro here. Welcome on back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're gonna discuss about my full day of eating. And uh, most of you know, I wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning and I go to the gym for 6 a.m. I try to get it out of the way as early as possible so I can concentrate and focus on other, on other things I have going on. So, first meal of the day, it will be around as soon as I wake up, let's say around 5.30 in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I do this uh, wake up call routine, which gives me a kick, a buzz, and wakes me up and keeps me going for the day. The few exercises, you can check it out uh, in the description below if you're interested to see, to see that. And then after that, straight away, I'm about to cook my breakfast. However, I don't have the time to cook a proper breakfast at 5 a.m. in the morning, but I came with this idea, which I'm making a super quick smoothie, full of calories, because I'm an ectomorph, and as an ectomorph, I have to consume a lot of calories to keep me to keep me in good shape. Otherwise, I will lose muscle, I will lose too quick body fat percentage and everything. And yeah, so uh, I suggest that for all of you ectomorphs out there, try this before the gym in the morning. It'll give you so much power and energy. So this super caloric, let's call it like that, smoothie, it contains about 790 calories. It has about 85.1 grams of carbs, 32.5 grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein in total. So I'm gonna prepare now, and you see exactly what I'm adding in this super caloric breakfast smoothie start of the day. tastes amazing. Now it's time to do some uh, work in a gym and then get ready the second meal of the day. See you in a bit guys. I'm back in the kitchen guys, uh, just being caught up in the rain so bad on the way back home from the gym. I'm back here, I'm ready to make the next meal which is gonna be scrambled eggs with smoked salmon and some veggies on the side. This uh, meal is having about around 510 calories. So, as you can see, I'm using three eggs, also around 50 grams of uh, smoked salmon, and I uh, also got some uh, chopped uh, fresh kale from the market, and um, got some avocado and spring onions, and one last thing, I'm adding some uh, red uh, peppers. We're gonna cook on a medium heat. I'm gonna show you the whole process, how I'm cooking it. It's gonna be quick and easy. Let's start the process. Important uh, ingredient which I forgot to mention in the beginning. I'm also using a whole grain um, bread, guys, as you can see. You can either toast it or just uh, eat it the way it is, just chop it and eat it. Uh, so, yeah, this is um, how my scrambled eggs look with the salmon, kale, onion, and as mentioned, avocado on the side. All right, time to eat. What's happening guys? We are back in the kitchen right now and we're gonna work on a meal number three. So, for meal number three, we're gonna have, we'll start with the calorie count first. Meal number three is gonna be 266 calories, which is actually all right. Uh, which we're going for a leaner meal. We're gonna have chicken breast, as you can see here, from the farm. 
And then I'm gonna also use 50 grams of rice. Also, chicken breast, we have about 150 grams of chicken breast. Uh, 50 grams of rice, which the rice is already cooking behind me. Uh, and we're gonna have about, how much we have here? 100 grams of, uh, of broccoli. Obviously here we have more than 100 grams because I'm gonna cook extra for the latest meal of the day, which you're gonna see later on. Uh, all right, so simple and easy. Uh, I like to season my chicken. That's how I'm gonna start. Uh, season it and then fry it in a pan with, um, with some oil and uh, we're good to go. But before I'm gonna season it, I'm just gonna like smash it a little bit because it cooks better. Otherwise the chicken will be too, um, the tissue of the chicken will be too fat. Too, too thick, sorry, not too fat. Okay, so once we uh, smash it, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm using the, I'm using the cocktail maker to smash the chicken. Oh wow, we use what we were ha what we're having in the house, right? We don't have a proper thingy, I don't know what's the name of it. But yeah, once it's all smashed, we're gonna add some seasoning. Perfect, all seasoned. Once the rice is uh, finished cooking, then I'm gonna fry the chicken and also the broccoli, I'm gonna steam it. Right, let's speed up the process and we'll show you the um, final result. Give you some details of the whole plate. Just delicious. Alright, let's eat and then we'll see you on the next meal. Back in the kitchen now and I am ready to sort out the next meal, which is the meal number four. And this meal I have around, um, check the time out, between 6 and 7 p.m. Um, this is pretty easy to make, guys. It's gonna be a granola bowl with um, blueberries, protein yogurt, chia seeds, and also almond butter. Because I need them fats in. So, this is one of the most caloric meals of the day, um, besides the shake in the morning that I have the smoothie. This one has about 760 calories. Right, let's get this ready. Let's say super easy. All you have to do, you open the yogurt. I'm gonna get the yogurt in a bowl. That's it. Mmm, so good. It's actually raspberry flavor. I love it. And uh, once we got that, I'm gonna make sure I um, count the granola. So I'm adding, as how much I said uh, in the plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding about 50 grams of granola and also 50 grams of almond butter. So, that is 50 grams. Some granola. And then I'm gonna have some chia seeds. It's like, say, like a, just a spiral of some chia seeds. Top. Now we're gonna get a lemon butter. I love almond butter. But guys, if you don't have almond butter, then you can, um, you can of course use peanut butter. Not everyone likes almond butter, so, you know, peanut butter is still great. I love peanut butter. I mean, I like them both, so... Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. Alright. And then... Blueberries. Perfect. It's a cocktail right there. Guys, as I said, this meal doesn't make 
doesn't take a lot of your time. I say it's more like a, a snack to me, but full of calories. So, give you a closer look. It looks a little bit messy, but it tastes so delicious. Um, so yeah, this is um, actually meal number four. I'm gonna have one more meal before bed, which is gonna be around nine o'clock, just before bed. If I go to bed at 10 o'clock, wake up at 5 a.m., get enough hours of sleep. So yeah, the last meal should be an hour at least, at least an hour before bed, so you can rest properly. And um, yeah, you'll see what I'm gonna have on my last meal before bed. So um, you probably guessed already, because I said uh, I'm um, keeping the rice and um, broccoli, and then I'm having something uh, extra special. Mm. So good. Perfect, we'll see you on my next meal. So ready for the meal number five, which is the evening meal, guys. 9 p.m., ready for bed, one hour before the bed, here we are. Meal number five is gonna be a Scottish salmon filet. So we got a salmon here, what I'm gonna do, I already preheat the oven. I'm gonna cook it for about 13, 14 minutes. Make sure you don't overcook it and you're not undercook it. So I found the right time actually on my oven. So yeah, I'm gonna use the salmon uh, with uh, pre-cooked rice, which I already made earlier this afternoon, and also the broccoli. So I have the rice and broccoli here. This meal contains about 339 calories. So I'm having always some carbs before the bed, um, just because I'm an ectomorph, as I said before. So we need to keep up with the carbs. Right, let's get ready the salmon and see exactly how I'm making my salmon. So to make my salmon most um, tasteful, I'm actually adding some um, some some garlic inside there. So I'm gonna chop the garlic and. Um, I have this very special technique of mine. Chop the garlic really uh, small pieces. And after that, I'm gonna slightly slice the salmon. Like kind of slices. And I'm gonna add the garlic inside the, inside the salmon. So it gives that nice, um, flavory, juicy taste. There we are, perfect. And after this, throw this away. I'm actually such a clean cook in terms of like, I like everything tidy. Perfect, and now we're gonna get some seasonings. Uh, salt and pepper. I'm sure you use salt and pepper. Then, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add this salmon in the aluminium foil. And uh, once it's been added into the aluminium foil, oops, just got it nicely. Perfect. I'm gonna wrap it. The reason why I'm wrapping it is because when the salmon cooks in the oven, all the flavor stays inside and it's just gonna be like so good, like so good. It's gonna get in the oven. Well, as I said, between 13 and 14, I put in 15 minutes just because the oven is not properly heat. And then, once that is done, it's ready to serve. This is the last meal before the bed and 
also as I said mentioned before the snacks which I'm having throughout the day it's gonna be like either an apple an orange a banana some nuts um, uh, maybe some chocolate bars and stuff like that so keep me going so in total I think this whole plan comes to uh, just just over with snacks and everything I suggest about just over 3,000 calories a day guys which I suggest that for an activity to be good have more meals and try to reach at least 3,000 calories if you're struggling to put weight on uh, and if you want to obviously grow and maintain the muscle so hope you enjoy my full day of eating guys if you enjoy please do comment below let me know how would you like to see next to my youtube channel and i'll always try my best to bring out for you guys out there and uh, yeah that's all for today and this is all my full day of eating see you next time guys thank you so much